what is up um back at y'all with another one um out here in santa maria i don't know if y'all remember this truck i'm back in the blue one today oh yeah this thing man um pretty much i've been out here hauling ass for the past five days and doing my thing out here um I believe they should be done right now. I don't know. I'm here right now. I'm in the blue sleeper today, boy. Uh, what happened? How I ended up out here again? I wasn't supposed to go here today. But um, pretty much another guy was supposed to come out here. He couldn't make it, unfortunately. His mom, his mom was sick or something, something like that. And that's when the owner came to me, and asked me, "Hey, you want to go to Santa Maria?" And I thought he was joking around, because that owner, he play around too damn much, man. I'm serious. Like, he literally is a person who likes to screw around, talk shit, joke around, and pretty much laugh and just, you know, typical stuff. And I was like, what the hell? I'm like, all shocked or whatever. He was like, hey, you can take the blue truck. I'm like, shit, okay, give it to me. <laughs> I'm like, all right, yeah. And um, <clears throat> next thing you know, three hours later, I'm out here. I left at 7 in the morning, got here at 10.30. That's how fast I got out here. I was hauling ass on that freeway in the rain, everything. I don't know. I was gone. Like, I mean, I was gone. Like, I don't play out here. If anybody who knows me, I do not play. I do not play games out here. When it's time to get moving, it's time to get moving. But, um, uh, you know what? For anybody who haven't seen this truck before, this is a nice one. This is where I want to be at. I hope if this year goes good, I'm going to get a truck like this. Like, this is my major goal. This is why I've been hustling and hauling ass out here. I don't play. Now, unfortunately, I had some little setbacks because the other car broke down. Then I had to go buy another, that red SUV. I had to go get that one for the sake of to get my family around and everything. I wasn't even supposed to buy a car for a while, but, you know, shit happens. Um, a little update about the car, not to get off the topic or whatever. Um, why it took them so damn long, almost two months, was because they were scared to call the warranty customer service. I called warranty customer service yesterday because my baby mom was pissed the hell off mad, saying that, oh, why you haven't called for it? What's going on with the car? It's like, you forgot all about that car, huh? I'm like, no, I haven't. It's just been, it's just that when your car breaks down, gets impounded, whatever the case that it might happen or anything like that, it's frustrating. Trust and believe it. It's very frustrating being without a car. It's how I ended up going to go get that big, ugly red one of mine. <laughs> but um, uh, what's going on with that is... What's going on with the other car is that they had to put a new transmission on there. And then the guy came out and tried to reprogram it. The car's computer did not recognize that fancy dealership scanner that they use as like a $15,000 scanner. They hooked it up to the car. It, it came back on their, on the scanner saying that it does not recognize, cannot connect to the car's control module or something like that. And um, <clears throat> pretty much now it's gonna need a computer. And that's when I called the facility, I told them that drive time covers that. It covers the car's control module. I specifically told them that, but um, Anyway, car's gonna get fixed. I don't know when the hell's gonna be ready, but when it is ready, I can't wait. You know, you know how women get, man. If you're a guy, I know how women get. Anyway, let's go see this truck outside. Anybody does not remember this blue one. This is a 2013 Freightliner Cascadia DD13. Sleeper, mid-roof, things big as hell on the inside. It's comfortable driving wise. two tanks uh use i don't drive this truck this truck belongs to the owner's son of the company oh like a 
I showed you, this is the inside of it. It's pretty comfortable. It's pretty big in here too. You can stand up in here too. Especially me. I get made fun of. Everybody be like, hey, who's that small, who's that small person inside of the truck? Or or small body in the big truck. Oh man, I get jokes all the damn time. People who know me, they see me out here. I get clowned on a daily basis. Yeah, it's whatever. But yeah. This is a nice one. I'm getting loaded up right here in Santa Maria, California. They loaded empty barrels, I guess, that's going to t Taiwan, I guess. And they're going to build furniture out of it. I'm assuming, or whatever they might do with it. I don't know. But yeah. It's nice. Bum, bum, bum. EODs. I don't use that shit. I use paper. But, um. Yeah, man. This is a nice truck. This is one of my goals this year. I got to hopefully, if everything goes right as planned, I, sh I should be ending up owning one of these. 10 speed, 10 speed transmission in here, manual. This is a DD13. This is a, uh, this is a short hood version. I don't like it. It's all compressed and whatnot. I don't know how the hell they work on this damn thing. But yeah. Got your uh, accessory belts right here. Got your big old fan. Got the turbo. Big ass radiator. from the top it's all compressed in I don't know how they work on this damn thing these mechanics man I had to get the long hood I had to get the long nose one cuz uh, uh this short nose one I know this one is expensive oh by the way this is a good truck though um I'm gonna be honest with you guys I believe this truck is deleted and a quite a few other one of his trucks these things are deleted they ain't got no it's rare that these things go through region like seriously it's rare so uh, i know because um i was hearing a few of them trucks are deleted that yellow one that i used to drive that one is deleted it has a dpf on, it has the exhaust filter but on the inside they don't got the stuff in there so that thing is deleted and i think it's tuned because that thing is too fast and it's not governor neither they tuned that damn thing i used to haul ass in that yellow one boy yep here's the undercarriage good tires on here Let's close this thing back up. <sighs> but yep, he let me drive this truck for today. The only thing with this truck, and they got a radio. The uh, so, uh, dogs. Let me show you guys this one. Hold on. Let me close the hood up in here. All right. Let me show you guys this right quick. All right. I don't know if you can see right there in the auxiliary port. You can see where the headphone jack theme broke off at. Um, I didn't do it personally. That wasn't me. Some bright jackass. I don't know. I don't know who was using this truck before. I can't speak on certain situations about the owner's son because, you know, things happen. But anyway, um, uh, somebody else was using this truck because after they put the electronic logging device thing in there, I wasn't using it for a while. So somebody broke the auxiliary thing in here and it's stuck in here and I ain't got no music. And I don't know how miserable that is without your radio. It is very frustrating. Now, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to swap the radio out. I recommend you swap this damn factory radio out and put a Bluetooth uh, unit in here. Hell, I recommend it. But, yeah, somebody broke the auxiliary thing in there. I think that about something. And I don't know what they're going to do. But, uh, but, yeah, though. 
It's a nice truck, though. This is my main goal. I'm going to get one just like this. I think it's big in here on the inside. Yep, folks. Um, here we are. I'm just waiting for them to get done. And I should be on my way back to Lone Beach in no time. Other than that, everybody, enjoy your weekend. Um, stay safe. Drive safe. Stay dry out here because it is raining off and on out here. And have a good day. Peace.